what's up everyone? I'm standing in a culvert. All my canine sets are out. Uh, deer season is going to be coming in here in about a week. So um, all the canine sets are out. And we're going to be out here for a good two, three, four weeks. Um, that one field where we caught the coyote, I, gotta, I need that farmer to cut that soybean out regardless before I reset that. So what I am going to do is set these, set a few culverts up. Um, I have some canine sets, or canine sets. I have some trail sets that I can set in on these culverts. And um, I don't know if you guys remember, but that original farm that I had um, scouted for Manka muskrat, well, apparently the owner gave myself and somebody else permission to trap that stream. So I went there to set traps the morning of, and there was already some guy down there. So I said, ah, the heck with it. You know, it's first come first serve, it's his. So uh, Thanksgiving is coming up. So once uh, the, the day before Thanksgiving, I'm gonna dip out of work early and uh, go set up the river. And hopefully we can find some muskrats and uh, some mink. I'm gonna take off a couple days. Um, Let's see what we can connect with. So enjoy the show here. We're going to go check some traps. What's up, everyone? We're down here at this culvert. We set some mink traps yesterday. And I'm going to show you what we got. Right here, you can see this wide open pond. And then you come over here, and you can see this trail cutting up. And so what I did was I notched a one and a half duke right there. And we're pretty deep right down in here. So I put it on a drowning rig. And I don't know if you can see in the water. We got ourselves a nice big coon down there. So, let me set this camera up. I'll pull her up and show you what we got. Well, I got to drown her here. I ain't that big, but got us a raccoon that drowned. So what I'll do is I'll get this set remade and uh, we'll go from there and I'll show you guys the finished set and what it looks like. What we're hoping for is some mink to come through um, and run this trail and investigate all these pockets. And All right, so we got our trap set up right here. I don't know if you can see the pan. I think that glare might be too much. <clears throat> pan or uh, trap set up right there on this trail. And what, what I was saying about the mink is you can see there's a tunnel up in there, you know, stuff for them to investigate. Up there, you got some holes in the roots. Um, so when they come out of this culvert, there's really nowhere for me to get a good setting over there. I could dig that out, but that's all concrete underneath that grass. Um, so down further, I do have a couple sets in with Kana bears where there's tunnels up in the grass and whatnot. So I got, still got to check those, and I still have another set on the other side of this uh, culvert. So stay tuned, folks. Let's see what we got. All right, so right here, I had a trail set. I don't know if you guys can make out that trail cutting through here right along that high bank and I had a trap right here and what I'm hoping for is to catch these mink running this high bank so now well, we didn't catch mink we got Rocky Rocky Raccoon so I'm gonna get him taken care of what I did was I put this on a slide wire and the reason I put on a slide wire so that way when he gets caught or whatever gets caught they'll jump down in the creek and they're not gonna tear up that trail so now you can see, you can see how this grass, yeah, he has a little tour up right in here, but it's not a big deal at all. I'll be able to fluff it up and bring the trail right back and, and get it set again. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this guy taken care of and uh, I'll get the trap reset and hopefully we can connect with the main. All right. You can see right here, this trail cutting down in and there's my trap and all that I'm going to do, get rid of the garbage, is just take some of this grass. Just throw it over top that trap, that's it. No sifted dirt, nothing like that. No jump sticks. Now, if they're coming down this trail, get you. You're gonna go straight down into here and tangle up in that brush just like you were. My trail's still there. Trail's still good shape, I'm still set it. All right, so right here, as you can see, we got a big old raccoon. And right here, I had a trail set sitting right here. And there's a little trail. I don't know if you guys could pick this up. The gloves just fell in the water. But there's a little trail that cuts through right here and runs right down along the edge of the creek. And it's actually headed up into this, uh, this root pile right here. So 
what I did is I went on the other side of this culvert here and there's a bunch of mink uh, mink crap over there on the pipe so there was nowhere really good for me to set up over there that I could see so I came over here and I saw this trail and that's why I set up so I'll get this guy here taken care of it's a big old boar I mean this guy's a pig um, get him taken care of and uh, go check some more all right so you can see actually you could actually see some scratching right there right from where this one or another one wanted to come through my trap is set up right in front of that bank right there the dog is facing the bank so that way if they're coming through all their weights get especially if they're coming down off of this stepping into that water all their weights gonna push down on that pan and that dog it's back towards that bank to where it can't kick their feet off uh, that's just my opinion I mean you can do it however you want that's just how i've always done it the dog towards the bank dog towards the hole or the trap so and like i just showed you there's that trail coming through here so let's hope let's hope we could get a bank come through here and uh knock one out i also did the same thing on this side of the stream bear with me this water's all murky and i don't want to fall in you can see right here a little trail coming up and that actually was not there i just dug that out with my hands just to make it look like a trail and i got a trap sitting right in front hugging this rock um so see if we can't get anything to come through there's our coon it was actually a real big female so i mean that thing's a pig but all right folks let's go check some more out and see what we got all right folks we're back down here at this culvert set that's a trail set we caught a coon here and drowned a coon yesterday and believe it or not, we got a muskrat in this trap. And I have no idea how he did not drown, but we drowned a coon. So, there you can see him bouncing around. Here's his head right there. So, I'm going to get this guy taken care of. And you can see he kind of messed our bank up right there a little bit. But that's all right. We still have our trail. And uh, I'll get him taken care of and get to set back in there and move on to the next. Here we are, folks. We're back down at this trail set. This is where we caught that coon. And I don't know if you remember... Right there is where we had that trap set, and I had this on a slide wire, so that way our um, our bank wouldn't get messed up, and I could reset this trap. So there's my shovel. I'm gonna flip this guy around, and I think you're gonna be pretty uh, pretty happy with the catch. So here we are. Crick has a little bit of ice on it this morning, and we had that high bank slide wire coming down. Well, it's not a male, but hey, I'm happy with it. We got us a nice female mink. Slide her back the slide wire. Both front feet in that trap. She was hopping down that trail and boom, we got her. So, hey, I mean, that's a target species we wanted. We want the mink. That's what we were setting here for. Can't complain. So these target, uh, these targets, these uh, trail sets, you can't beat it because you get a mixed bag catch. No food, no lure, nothing like that. The ice had nothing to do with us. She got down here early enough before the ice formed on the creek and it formed on her back, so boom. All right, everyone, there she is. She's all dried up and there are ticks all over this girl. I don't know if you can see that one right there, that little white dot, but I'm gonna get her scun out and uh, I'm gonna keep her and Tanner. So stay tuned everyone and we'll get her scun out.
right, folks, that wraps our video up for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, keep on catching.